Okay, crazy stupid love. If you've seen the, any of the commercials for it, you kind of know it begins with Steve Carell and his wife, played by Julianne Moore, more or less saying how she wants a divorce. So you have that, that is one of your initial storylines, and Steve Carell tries to go to a bar, and he's awkward is the best way to put it. And then he runs into Ryan Gosling's character, who is the absolute epitome of suave, smooth, and seems to get women and almost a drop of a hat. He then essentially takes Steve Carell under his wings like protege. And I've often heard people say that women fell in love with Ryan Gosling from The Notebook. Men fall in love with him from the movie Drive. But his timing, his persona, and the way he, he portrays himself in this movie is absolutely ridiculous. He has some fantastic comedic timing. He also has a subplot with uh, Emma Stone, who kind of plays a woman who's becoming a lawyer, who's kind of stuck with a guy who's every bit as boring as vanilla ice cream. Now, French vanilla is just plain straight vanilla. So the whole time, Ryan Gosling is helping to essentially train Steve Carell to become essentially the type of guy who women just find themselves entirely attracted to essentially to kind of treat them relatively cheap and meaningless. And you know, from those two subplots, there's also a couple other subplots where <clears throat> Steve Carell's son is in love with his babysitter, but the babysitter's actually in love with Steve Carell, and that leads to some some bizarre and, and unique sort of things. You know, uh, Alvarez was actually a pretty solid movie. And then when it's revealed that the person that Julianne Moore cheated on Steve Carell with is Kevin Bacon, who does a fantastic job of playing this kind of squirmy, you know, he he really likes really likes her, is trying to turn in their essentially kind of like one night stand to a relationship. But the scenes where, you know, he's trying to talk to the son, and the son knows that this is the guy that ruined his parents' relationship. Pretty solid. You know. And the weird thing is all these stories seem like they're all diverging. And when they all converge, about the hour and a half point, it is just ridiculously over the top. It all makes sense, it's all good, it's all solid. You know, great acting, really, really solid story, fantastically written, well acted. You know, if you want to see a, a good romantic comedy that's got some in the way of crude humor but nothing that's way over the top, Crazy Stupid Love is an absolutely fantastic movie.